Hello viewers, I'm Rohit Kurana from Intellect Digest. This is the part 3 of our Samsung Galaxy Note 2 tips and tricks videos. We have given you some useful tips on the part 1 and 2. In part 2 we have shown you some useful tips of the S Pen. In this part 3 we will continue with this some more tips on the S Pen. For the previous videos check out the links in the description below. We are also giving the links on the annotations on the top left corner of the screen. With the Samsung Galaxy Note 2 which comes with S Pen, Samsung has optimized its many applications to work with the uh, pen. If you hover the pen over any date in your calendar events, you will see that it will show you an air view. What this air view does is that gives you preview of the plans of the day. If I just go to any day which has multiple entries, you can see it will ho just by hovering it will show me the previews. This is the air view which works inside the S Planner. In this section I'm going to show you how you can use the quick note feature in which you can launch the note application within a call or wherever you are on the phone in the application. Say I'm talking to customer care and they give me an ID to save. I'm in the middle of a call. What I do is that I have this S Pen. I just press the button and tap twice on the screen and the note comes up and in, in this note I can quickly take information, write it down and save it from here. This is how easy it is. Now let me talk about some of the S note features which are quite innovative and interesting. If I have to make a drawing or a rough sketch and I want to use precise shapes, I may not be able to do it manually. But with this shape recognition feature, I can turn it on and make an approximate shape and it will take geometrical shape which is closest to it. So if I make an approximate circle, it will be converted to a perfect circle. If I make an oval, it will be converted to a perfect oval. So this is quite handy when you have to make rough sketches or drawings. Continuing with the features of the S note, let me talk about another interesting feature which is the text recognition or the handwriting recognition which works very well within the S note application as well. You just turn on the text option here which you can type anything. And as you type it will recognize what you are uh, writing it will convert it into text here. Beside text and sketches you can add a lot of objects in your notes just press the add object button here and what you can do is take a picture, add an image from the gallery, record a video or save a video from existing folders, clipboard, maps, idea sketch, clip art, text box etc. So there is a lot of stuff to be added and you can also add a voice note. I just tap on it, I can record a voice memo. Meeting on Thursday. So I just added a part of voice in this message, I just press save here and it gets saved. So let me play back the saved audio from the note. Meeting on Thursday. So this is how convenient it is. If you need a scientific or a formula kind of thing, you can go to the productivity tools, long press here, select the formula, type your formula here. From here you can search directly to the scientific search engine that is the Wolfram Urfa and here you see a pop-up browser. I just maximize this pop-up and here I get some graphs and tools. I just cut this clip, I copy it to the clipboard and I can directly take it to any application including the S note. Now I go back to my note and I can simply paste it from the clipboard I can add more information I can resize it or replace it so this is how simple and easy it is to insert formulas and sketches related to the formula while you are making a note when you are typing something when you are making something or making a drawing and you want to simply erase something out of the note you simply take the uh, S Pen close to the screen and click it once and as you see it switches from the pen mode to the eraser mode and now you can simply press here and erase it 
after you want to start writing again just take it close to the screen and click it once here is the button so you can start writing again this is how simple it is another interesting feature of the S Pen is that it works like a mouse pointer whenever you move a mouse over the drop down menus on a website it just opens the menus so if you just hover your S Pen over something as you can see it will show you the sub menus or it will open the drop downs it will not click but it will open the drop downs just like the scrolling action in a mouse this is the end of the part 3 of our samsung galaxy note 2 tips and tricks for more such videos do subscribe to our official youtube channel youtube.com slash intellect digest by clicking the subscribe button below this video thanks for watching